everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some very exciting beauty products to share with you all. It is a Korean brand makeup haul, I guess, but is that really like a Korean makeup haul? Just because I only have one brand in this video. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just really wanted to try out these products because the colors were really pretty and the person that modeled it on the website just looked real bomb. So I'm like, I need to try this stuff. And also after doing my research, this is the only Korean brand of color cosmetics that I found that is cruelty free. If you guys have any other recommendations for Asian makeup brands that are cruelty free, please let your girl know. So let's just jump right in and take a look at these products, shall we? First thing I want to talk about is this lip kit right here. I'm super excited about this because this is the first time I purchased a lip kit of some sort and actually liked every single color. I'm so picky about lip colors on my lips because I'm just not one of those girls that can rock any lip color. You know, there are those girls that can literally put baby pink on their lips and still look cute, but no. If I put on baby pink lipstick on my lips, my teeth will look so yellow and you will want to turn the other way if you saw me, okay? I'm very happy that I finally found a lip kit where every single color in here just makes me feel like it complements my skin tone. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's because it's a Korean brand so it's just more catered towards the Asian skin tone look. I don't know. But this lip kit right here is bomb. This is the 3CE Style Nanda. Oh yeah, by the way, I bought everything on Style Nanda. This kit right here is their 3CE Mood Recipe Lip Color Mini Kit. Um, so they are all these little mini lipsticks, I guess you would say. And I feel like the finish is like a satin matte. If your lips are already dry and flaky, this is not gonna work for you. So you wanna make sure you do like a lip mask or like sleep with 10 pounds of lip balm on the night before the day you have to use this because this formula, although I love all the colors, it's very, very drying. But with that being said, I still like it. I don't hate it or anything because in the end, when you're using a matte or satin finished lipstick, you can't really expect oh, a lot of moisture, you know? So I'm not complaining. I still really like it. And I feel like because the formula is so dry, I can wear it for many, many hours. So that's the good thing about it, even though it does start to crack a little bit, but it's not terrible as long as you moisturize beforehand. So I swatched every single color in here for you guys. The first one is more of a nude, I would say. That's what I have on my lips right now. It's like a peachy nude. I would have to say this is probably my favorite color out of all of them. I guess because it's a very wearable nude. And because of that peachy undertone, it does not look like it's washing you out. So I really like this one. And then the second one, which is number 115 Mus. This one has more of a rosy nude tint to it. I really like this one as well. This one is a little more bright, I would say. So I would probably wear this one if I'm wearing a more toned down outfit and I just wanted a pop on my lips. Next up is 909 Smoked Rose. So like its name, it's like smoked rose. It's a perfect muted rose color, but it has a little bit of that smokiness in it. So it is darker. I really like this one as well. I mean, I like all of them. So you're just going to hear me say, oh, I really like this one because I like all of them. The next one is Inked Heart number 116. This one is very similar to the one I have on right now, which is 114 Rose, except this one is more dark. So I feel like this has more of a brown undertone to it. I would probably wear this one during nighttime or I don't know, just something a little more dressed up. Lastly is number 117 Chicful. This one, as you can tell, is like a dark burgundy. I rarely wear bold lip colors, but I feel like this one I feel comfortable wearing without feeling like, oh, it's too loud. Yeah, that is number 117, Chicful. This one right here is a very, very beautiful lip gloss. I am a lip gloss type of girl. I really like this lip gloss. It has a little bit of a stickiness to it. I wish it wasn't so sticky, but at the same time, the stickiness is what makes it good, if that makes sense. The color I have is Hashtag baby punch. I feel like orange or peachy and nude. That color scheme is really in right now. And I just really like this lip gloss. It's a very subtle punch of peach without being very overwhelming. So this is something you can definitely wear on your no makeup days or even a look like this and you know, just have a little gloss on your lips. It makes your lips just look nice and healthy because it gives it that plumpness. Let's talk about this right here. Since I've been saying good things about the past two products, I feel like this out of everything that I bought would 
probably be the only one that I'm just not feeling. Here is the Style Nanda Sparkling Liquid Pigment, and I have it in the shade Hashtag Glory. I honestly was so, so excited about this because the model that was wearing it on the website, it just, it looked so good on her. It was like glossy, it looked wet, like very editorial. It just looked like the perfect sheen of wet gold on your eyelid. But I am wearing it right now and you can probably tell that it's definitely not that look that I'm going for. It's very matte in my opinion. And at first I thought, oh, maybe I just need to put more. So I used more, but it just did not spread right. I feel like this formula is just weird. I don't know if I'm just not doing it right. So if any of you have any advice and you have this, please let me know. Maybe I need to apply it with a brush, but at the same time, I don't see how this could work with a brush because the formula is just really weird. I did try to layer. So I did one thin layer and I did another layer on top and that just totally moves the first layer. It just I don't know. I don't know how to apply this, but overall I think the idea is great But the formula just doesn't work out for me next thing. I absolutely love this powder This is my current favorite powder and if there's one thing I need to recommend to you guys out of this entire haul is this this powder I don't know what is in here, but it is the best powder I've ever used in my life This is the 3CE blur filter powder and I have it in the shade pale So it comes with two shades, which is interesting. I've never had a powder that came with two shades It's usually just translucent or it's tinted. So this has half purple and half green So I'm assuming this is some sort of color correcting powder. It's very very light so I honestly don't think that it will color correct. What I like about it is that it feels like a filter over your skin. And I mean, that's the name of it. It's called the 3CE Blur Filter Powder. If you have large pores like I do, look no further. Girl, you need to get on their website and buy this right now because this completely takes out my pores. But you have to know how to use this right. So I have found the best way to use this is not as a setting powder, but more of like a in between. So what I usually do is I put on my medium coverage foundation and then once I have that foundation on, then I will put this powder on with a brush. So after I dust this all over, you will immediately feel your skin just feel softer and you will see that your pores are gone. So anyways, once I have this on, I would go over it with my Bare Minerals powder and I would buff it over my face. After you do that, girl, your skin will look I don't know, out of this world. I have never seen my skin look this smooth before. This is the secret, okay? This is it right here. This will always, always be my collection. I will never stop buying this product. It is so good. A few more things to talk about. You guys know my eyebrow situation and a lot of you are asking about a microblading video, um, just basically talking about my experience. I am gonna make that video soon so that uh, you guys know all about this whole process with my eyebrows. But anyways, um, because I got my eyebrows microbladed and it didn't work out for me, it became like a very ashy shade. Like my eyebrows just right now, they ain't cute, okay? I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat or anything. My eyebrows, they ain't cute right now. But because of this bad experience, I have been on the hunt to find a really, really good brow pencil. I came across many, many good ones that I've talked about on Instagram before, but I'm constantly just trying new things. You know, I can't use one thing and stick to it forever. I decided to try out this and I absolutely love it. This is what I have on my eyebrows right now. <sighs> do you guys like it? What do you think? What do we think? The color is so pigmented that it will cover my uh, my microblade or my tattoo, I guess you can call it, underneath. Um, a lot of brow products that I've tried, they're either too watery or too like thin, so it doesn't cover that undertone, like that ashy undertone that I have right now. This one, because it's so pigmented, it really does cover that bluish tattoo thing that I have underneath. So I really, really like this for that reason. And the color, I really could not have asked for a better color. This is the perfect caramel brown. And that's the shade that I have, by the way, caramel brown. It's it's so true to its name. It's definitely caramel brown, like Trey Song's caramel brown. Or should we say Trey Song? What do you guys think? Is Trey Song's more of white chocolate, dark chocolate, or caramel? Hmm. I feel like he's a in between dark chocolate and caramel chocolate. Oh, you know what? Milk chocolate. He is milk chocolate. Okay, so this is like Trey Song's color. <laughs> it's the 3CE Studio Coloring Brow Pencil and Mascara. The mascara, girl, 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 
the best brow mascara ever, okay? A lot of times I get brow mascaras and the formula is just so watery that the tinted part is almost non-existent. You just have to do a light little brush and this will completely color your eyebrows. So I love the mascara. This formula is amazing. And then over here is the pencil. Really, really like this. The formula really reminds me of the Pixie brow product that I rave about and I still absolutely love that product. I just like this color a little more. So if Pixie ever had like a color like this, oh my God, I would be obsessed. Now moving on to another brow product, the 3CE Waterproof Cream Brow and Brow Mascara. This one I got because it is waterproof. I just got it because I have very oily skin and I thought maybe using something that's waterproof would be useful. I don't know, but I would have to say this kind of let me down. Like I'm just, I'm just not really into this product right here. So basically the idea is that Oh, and also comes with a brush, but I left the brush in the bathroom, but it comes with a brush and a spoolie. And you're supposed to put this gel over your eyebrows, wait for it to dry, and it's supposed to last 24 hours. I would have to disagree with that. I don't feel like it lives up to its claim. The color is really great. I like the color a lot. It's this shade, Caramel Brown. The formula, meh, it's just, it's just very watery. And I feel like it just doesn't apply nicely. I will still use it because it does last longer than this brow product right here. So I would probably use this if I don't know, I had a super long day ahead of me. I probably just have to apply it with a different brush. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Lastly, to wrap up this haul, I have another brow product. This is a brow pen, my first ever brow pen. This one is the 3CE Super Slim Tinted Eyebrow, and I have it in the shade Ash Brown. I feel like this stuff is a great invention because if you're like me and you really lack in the front of your eyebrows, then this will be so useful for you to draw in those strokes. If you really want that defined, like those nice strokes, then a pen is very, very useful. So I usually use the brow pencil and mascara. Um, so I use that first as a base and then I go in with this to draw in those little strokes. And I feel like it looks really good and it's really skinny, which is what makes it look so natural. You can really go in and do really feathery strokes and make it look like actual eyebrow hairs. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this product. I really, really like this one. All right guys, so that completes it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I had so much fun just scouting out some Korean makeups. It's Korean makeups, Korean brand makeup. Okay, well, literally I scouted out one brand. So anyways, I would love to do these videos more. If you guys have any other Korean brand um, cruelty-free companies that you guys would like me to try out, please, please, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your notifications. I'm out of breath. Notifications. <laughs> so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. I would really appreciate that. And please like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is my first name, at Whaley. And what else? Uh, do I have anything else to tell you guys? Oh, if you guys haven't checked out my previous video, it is my living room tour, but it's not just my living room. Um, it's my living space and my dining room and my office area. So if you guys wanna see that tour, it is my previous video. I will leave a link down below. That is all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.